Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are here at the San Joaquin Delta again. And this time we are going to go to a new location. Now, I have been here in the past when I used to do, uh, I think it was in season one, I fished off this location here. It's called Fishing the Beaver. And the reason you fish at Fishing the Beaver is one of the big things is to catch carp. But there's a lot of other species here that can be caught. And I happened to come through here on my own just a little while ago and discovered that this is a great place to catch the white sturgeon. Now, we're going to come in here and see if we can't get some of these guys. And also do some uh, bottom fishing maybe for some carp. See what we can get in regards to them. So, let's go ahead and head on in there. We are heading into a peak, so this should be a perfect time. Now, my understanding is the white sturgeon will also bite really well at night so I don't know if that's gonna call for another episode we'll just go ahead and catch them there and then maybe come back at a later time I don't know but let's see here alright this is fishing the beaver and there's somebody already here I think what I'm gonna do go ahead and go to a private room alright been a long long time since I've been here yeah if I remember correctly I used to catch quite a few species casting out towards those trees and those extension lines so but we're not going to be doing that kind of fishing at this moment since I caught one I went ahead and put a marker so that I could find it again so it's right there that way I can find it and throw a new line out there. Now let's see what we got on our inventory here. I've got... I'm trying to remember where the bottom rods are. That might be better just check the inventory. Okay, I've got it on 6, 7, and 1. So, now these guys they'll go for a number of things one of which is these uh, dark muscle meat apparently they like that and the other thing that you know they go for shiners they go for um, cut bait let's see here apparently they go for crawfish as well might give that a shot see the large cut bait I've got more of that so I think we're gonna go with that the crawfish we got more crawfish than we got the other uh, anyway the first one I've got the bottom sniper 11 foot by 9 inch goes up to 35 pound I've got 22 floral line which is 35 pound test that's maxed out for this setup and for six, I'm going to use that for carp here on the other side. And on this one, I've got the heavy chaser, and it goes up to 56.2 pounds. And I've got some pretty heavy duty 41.2 braided line. So we're going to go ahead get this set up. Starting, well, first we've got to get our rod pot down. Uh, this is as good as any, I guess. Sounds like we've got a spastic duck or goose. Alright, let's put this down. And let's see. I'm going to put one out as well crawfish. I'm going to put it a little bit further ahead, but in the vicinity. Well, that sucked. I 
I think I don't know I actually might just leave those two out and do some spin casting see what I can get from this other side actually Now, if I remember correctly, I used to catch. I want to say I don't. I used to cast out towards this area with crankbaits. Kind of interested to see what's out here. I'm going to try some different depths. See, it's not very deep. That was running, it's 12 foot, and that's running right along the bottom. go Chinook salmon that was probably what I was getting back then well, that's a great way to start this off that's a very nice so they go for that maybe I try it a little bit shallower let's see here guys I think I've got well I've got there's a three foot and an eight foot let's try the three foot he was almost ashore when he attacked that. Let's try the second one. Yeah, I remember I used to cast it towards those, and that was kind of my guide. Now, this may be too shallow, but we'll see just how it does. No. <laughs> this is the one. Yes, 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 yes. We have found a good. We have found a good bait or good lure. Damn. I think this might be a steelhead. Yep. Show sure enough. Okay, let's let's try that one again. Alright guys, sounds like we have got something on this one, finally. I don't know if I can get it. <laughs> and it's big. Yeah, I knew eventually they would come after it, it just was a matter of time. And I think we've got us a sturgeon here this time, guys, because this is a big fish. coming we're just going to be patient <laughs> of course might be able to move over here a little closer Come on, 
fish. Well, he is really fighting me. I can't believe that nothing for all that time, and now. <laughs> Sure is, it's one. There we go, we got him. There you go, new personal record, white sturgeon, twenty two fifty five. 48.270 pounds. And we're talking a big fish here, guys. Let me see if I can't get a picture of him. We have to deal with the beeping for just a minute. There we go, guys. That's what they look like. Definitely worth the cash. Let's go get this one if we can. Oh, he has made some <laughs> distance. Jeez. 160 feet out there. Let's see if he's any bigger than the other one was. Yeah, they do not come in trophy or uniques here. I don't know if they're found other places where they come bigger, but this is as big as they come. Damn. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, it seems like they're they bite really good in the morning on if there's a peak. I haven't tried other peaks, but I've also been told they bite really well on peaks at night too. So something we may experiment with with a separate episode since we're doing fine right at the moment. Boy, they are fighters. Yep, we got him. Yeah, he wasn't as big as the other one. Still. Very nice fish, guys. Very nice fish. 41 pounds. Yeah, you catch maybe about, what, six or seven of those, and your net's full. <laughs> I mean, that quick, just like that. I'm going to throw that right back out there again because I definitely found a good spot. So there, I was using crawfish, and there, duck mussel meat. Caught him at the same exact time. All right. Let's see here. Where's my? Let's see if we can get anything back over here again. Now, I've tried there, I've tried there. Now, obviously you can't really throw it there because there's a little island there, but I'm going to throw it over there anyway just to see what happens and then reel it back. This three-foot crankbait is really good for anything that swims in these waters.
Yep, sure enough. I think it's another steelhead. As you can see, it is not taking long to fill up our net or get cash. Get into the Chinook. Yeah, it looks like the biting has slowed down a little bit. Usually, in that first hour, you're going to get a lot of bites. Let me see how much we've got on our peak left here. It's still up pretty high, so we can keep at it. Maybe we just need to try a different approach here. Let's see. So we've tried the blue one. Let's try the blue one at 8 feet. Maybe they're a little deeper now. This is also a bigger hook and a little bit heavier, so maybe... It'll cast out a little bit farther. Yep. Yeah, right. Yep, right around sixty something feet. That's where the deep spot is. And as soon as I went over top of it. Apparently the fish go deeper. Man, that's a strong son of a gun. I think this is another Chinook. It's going around the island. <laughs> Thank God. It. Whoa. Well, we've almost got him in now. We got him. Yep. Damn. He's quite the fighter. I was almost expecting him to be a bit bigger than that. So it's right out here, guys. It's about 60... 60 something feet. There is a definite hole. Now we'll watch as it gets to 70. See as it goes up, that means it's deeper. Could play a very, very important role in how we fish. Since we're not getting any more bites off the other side, 
it might be worthwhile to move this over to here. Put this right here. And I am going to switch the bait. Let's put some large minnows on one. And on this one, shiners. Actually, no. Salmon sacks. Now I'm going to try as best I can to get that right out where that hole is. It's right around here, I think. to me getting a bite already and I think I'm gonna try tossing this over here I used to get a lot of carps over there Just gonna sit here and wait. I think I might go ahead and pull out this one again. Well, maybe not. Off of here. Another steel head. Oh, good God. There you go, white catfish. Okay, this one's big though. Hold on. There we go, there's another steelhead. Not bad. Toss this out one more time. Yeah, I think we might call it an episode at that point. Let's see here. Right about there, guys. Instead of those peas, let's try a bigger hook. I don't mind catching that little catfish, but I'd rather get something a little heftier. Let's see here. Yeah, that's I tell you what, I haven't tried these before. Oh I can't. I guess I have to use a carp rod for that. Ah heck. Let's see, what else? Sweet corn, for sure. And I think the big thing is going to be the hook size. 
Yeah, you don't want to use this. You want to use one of these octopus hooks. That way you don't scare them. They don't bite the shiny hooks as well. Kind of like to see if I can't get a big carp out of this too. And we're going to put that one right over here. Now I'm going to pull this out and as soon as I do something will go for that. That's the way it works. <laughs> I can make fish bite. Alright, let's try casting it over here too. Told ya. <laughs> that was a car that was off the carp rod that I was using there. Uh, he probably is a carp because they tend to fiddle with it a little bit. And we haven't gotten over the hole just yet. It's right about there it is. And that's where they bite. And you knew that was going to happen. He might have gotten off the hook. That gun, I wish I could get this one in. <clears throat> but he is really, really fighting me. close oh good god this is tell you what let's come over here Put that on there for a minute. Because I want to see what's on this one. There's the carp. 313, not a bad one. Not bad at all. Let's put this one. Okay. Grab the wrong one. Well, maybe he got some of his run out. Or maybe not. Damn, this is a big fish.
Okay, we got him, and it's a Chinook. See, he wasn't quite as big as I thought he would be. He's just strong. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's actually pretty darn good. I mean, I am raking in the fish here. Let's see. Holy crap, that... I think that's a sturgeon, guys. I didn't think they went for the spawn sacks. the other one. Yeah, you usually do find the sturgeon in deep holes, which I was surprised I had hidden before. I think we got him, guys. Yep, there he is. Another new personal record. This one's 49.300 pounds. Yep, I lost the other one, but well worth it. hanging on to this one. That is a nice fish. It's a very nice fish. Let me get a picture with him, too. Yep, there they are. That's what they look like. They are a big fish. Let's see. Try to. Okay. Don't want it too dark, and I also don't want it too light either. Alright. We're going to go ahead and keep him. Well, guys, I think that's been very successful. I'll tell you what, that was a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And that is Fish, what is it called? Fishing the Beaver. Fishing the Beaver. Great place to fish, guys. And you can get, as you saw, plenty of these guys. Anyway, guys, until next time, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.